How did you feel about the the Batman vs Superman trailer, Jason? I, I I don't know how to love it enough. In in short, <laughs> I I don't know if my heart's big enough for all that love. We, we've seen you've seen every other iteration of Batman on screen, um, as far as tonality could could be concerned, and the one we haven't gotten to see is old gray, wise to the punch Batman, and uh, I mean the the true Dark Knight Returns Batman. Oh, I mean, it's it's that part I'm looking forward to. Now, um, the good news is, for any of those films, if, say, you get lead poisoning and lose your ability to see color, it's not going to actually change your, your, your viewing of the film. <laughs> it's still extremely dark, um, which, all right. It is. To be sure, is at least an improvement over last time, because Sapia Man was the biggest problem you had with that film. I want to mm-hmm. say that's the biggest problem. Is that the biggest problem, or was it the emo portion? Um, it was my biggest problems were were probably more in line with uh, Pa Kent, but we'll talk about Man of Steel at some point. But this is not a problem that's going away. Um, <laughs> they they seem to really just want to desaturate everything they're doing in this in this DC universe. It all, it, actually, like, Man of Steel didn't even, it wasn't sepia-toned, it was more like early bird and in Instagram. So, yeah, yeah. this one looks like it might be a little more colorful. It's very dark, but it, was, it might have some more saturation to it, which... We might actually see I, blue at some point during the film. Maybe right, even which, red. Which, you know, I've always felt like, you know, if Man of Steel, you have the, the military guys, and they're like, uh... Oh, Shoot him! Which one? The one in blue? What about him? I'm like, which one is in blue? They're right. <laughs> they all look like they were in. No one gray. on this planet like, wears blue. Just, what are you talking about? I'm like, I mean, Man of Steel was the original Fifty Shades of Grey. Right, and we're gonna have Aquaman <laughs> at some point. I don't want him to rise out of a deep black sea. Right. I want him to come out of a big blue sea <laughs> and go talk to another man oh. in blue. Like what? Are, at this point, we can't cra- cast Green Lantern because it's just going to be like. Dark Hunter Green Lantern. He will not look right. green. All, all of his, all of the actual things that come out of the ring. I don't even know what color that's going to make because it's always a bright green. Well, I think that's the problem. I think uh, Warner Brothers said, "Well, you know, we did Green Lantern. It it didn't go over so well. So let's just do the opposite Which of no everything of that Ryan was in Reynolds. Green Lantern." And then at some point they were like, "Well, wh- wh- how did?" How do you want to do this color thing? And they're like, wait, was there color in Green Lantern? Well, yeah. Right. No, take the color out. Just get rid of that, that immediately. Shit that mucking up our That's cinematic what they'll universe. do, though. And that, they've been renaming stuff anyway. Like, it, it, the Green Arrow is, is now the Arrow. So he's just going to come out yeah. and be the Lantern. Uh, they'll just be Lantern. Even, or they'll call him the Lantern. I, ha- I had not considered that. And it now seems like actually. No, I mean, I think they, I'm pretty sure they, they have released movie titles and Green Lantern was in there. So, gotcha. like. Well, we, we do need to do that. And um, on, a, on a future podcast where we didn't just have a, a, an amazing amount of trailers just drop, um, like this week. It, it, and, yeah. you know, we're coming up on the Flash finale. We just had the Arrow finale. We'll get to talk about Gotham mm-hmm. at some point in more detail. Um, it. it on a time like where we have more time to go back for that, it, it'll be it'll be interesting to actually go back and and look at everything DC's got planned and which parts of it do cross over. Overall, though, overall trailer, uh, freaking amazing. This is the kind of thing where, as, as much as we have a problem with it being a, the way the way they're shot is just really uninspired, but this is the kind of movie where if you're going to take a real dark tone like this and you're going to not let any kind of light in, you might as well freaking do the Dark Knight mm-hmm. Returns. We'll see. This I might think, be the I exception the, where we're okay with it, and hopefully by the time they do Justice League, we'll have a more a, a brighter outlook in that universe in general. Because right now it's an entire it's a false god thing. There's, I mean, Batman and Superman mm-hmm. are fighting. Mommy and Daddy are going to hit each other, and that usually means it's a bad tone. <laughs> so if we can get past the 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 infighting and then get to the point where we're actually fighting somebody, hey, let's let some color in. Yeah, I don't think the cinematography is at all at fault in any of this like when you look at man of steel you can tell it was shot really beautifully the problem is just yeah. the color grading before, afterwards before they That's went into post happening. it was wonderful right 
<laughs> the actual went, DP went, is not at fault here. What was it we were talking about the other day when you said that Roy G and Biv were all accounted for? <laughs> I, I don't remember. I really don't. Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably the Avengers too. <laughs> because that that is one of the major tonal differences so far in the DC movies and the the Marvel movies is um I mean and you know that that's the thing where if if you're not of the opinion that DC is trying to catch up to Marvel or that Marvel's uh, mm. Avengers in particular um is the standard and by the way if you want to use Winter Sol- Winter Soldier as the standard I got no hate for you but if you're not of the opinion that they're trying to catch up to that standard I don't want to finish the mm. conversation with you like it, that's right. that's that's where they need to head. That's I, what I, good I is. would uh, I would agree. The destruction of Metropolis really did bother me in Man of Steel, but yeah. if where we're going is is what this what Man of uh, Man, uh, sorry uh, Batman vs Superman actually looks like it's doing, like where the entire world is split on their opinion of they're going straight for civil war. Yeah, yeah, and that's. That's going to be a fine thing. That really is. And the thing is, is uh, it's one of the problems I had too, was, you know, half of Metropolis seemed like it got destroyed. Um, right. Not even Morpheus could save it. It. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I tend to forget I, that Morpheus was in that film. I, I, I try to, and sometimes I just can't. Um, but he did fine. But it... Half of the... He could exist the in that universe. You see, you'd say he'd take... The, it would, you know, choose the red pill or the blue pill, and Superman would just say, "Which one is red? Which, and which one is which? blue?" Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're having a conversation. I, I don't know. I thought you'd be able to help. No. Um. Yeah. He. It, if where it's going is that Batman decides that no one should have this much power, at least not without him. Uh, getting a sit down with the guy first um and of course he would and yes he absolutely would um that's that's fine i got no problem with that now the i would kind of like to know if that was post hoc if because one of the complaints people had was the fact that half metropolis had been destroyed so i kind of would like to know if that direction was chosen before or after all those complaints came in i am generally Uh, not a fan of david s goyer and am unwilling to give him the benefit of the doubt on anything. And I'm pretty sure he's mm. not even writing this thing anymore. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they have that he has been uh, shuffled off to some dark corner somewhere, probably I, I making would another like, puppet master. Just to give him a, a story arc, I would love to, to say that, or to hear that that was his last idea before he left, was, hey, have him fight. That was a problem. I would love to, ha- to find out that that was what happened, but... Uh, it, it, there's just no chance. I mean, it's been quite a while. I mean, I think I think they were probably. It seems like they were probably um, planning on doing some sort of uh, Batman versus Superman. I mean, they've been talking about it for years and years, for more than you know. Well, I mean, they were making uh, references to it in uh, Will Smith's "I Am Legend." They had like the Batman versus Superman logo, and that was a thing that had been uh, rumored to be happening for a really long time, years and years. Wow! I think they and just wanted Batman it's... versus Superman on a billboard somewhere, and they were going to. It was going to happen if a hair lives hell. Like they were going to do that. <laughs> it's the giant spider in Act Three. It's going to happen, right? With enough will. Um, it, yeah, he, it's a good thing to happen, and it's never actually been on screen before. It, it, to my knowledge, Superman and Batman have never fought in live action. And one of the things mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to most, other than everything else we can geek out about, is finally getting it into the mainstream. Because if you go ask a mainstream half, someone who's half familiar with these characters, and ask them who's going to win that fight, every time they'll say Superman, and they'll think you're an idiot for saying anything else. Superman yeah. has never taken Batman down in the books. Never. He's he's brought him down a few notches, but <laughs> it never ends that I way. Remember Every he punched time they him really fight. Oh yeah, they've he's he's definitely taken a few licks in. And 
by all means, I don't mean that it's... It, Superman has hurt him on a number of occasions. But um, Bat's usually just, you know, skedaddles. <laughs> which at that point is an absolutely useful uh, mechanism. I, it, there's a god punching yeah, you. Sure. Run. No one is I, judging I you just, for that. You know. Well, apparently there's there's there are a fair amount of douchebags who judge Batman for such things. Unfairly. They're like, why has he got to be prepared? He, well, you try. He, <laughs> he can't first. fight Superman. <laughs> he can't fight Superman. He's just a man in a suit. Superman, Superman. That's always just the that's the argument. Superman that's, is Superman. That's the basic argument. And the if hell it you plays say. Out anything like if it plays out anything like the Frank Miller version, um, Superman gets left a bloody a bloody mess. Um, yeah. And they'll probably find some way to get the you know, aerosolized kryptonite in there without needing a one armed arrow, but <sighs> Well that, I don't know yet. This this movie's gonna make a ton of money just because it appeals to that <laughs> it appeals to that base question. No regardless of whether you are a uh, diehard comic book fan or just some guy that, you know, used to really, really enjoy Julie Newmar on the Adam West series, <laughs> you were gonna be both everyone things. we all we all turn into five year olds when Batman versus Superman, who wins? Like Oh Yeah. Yeah. We all have our, our guy. Oh yeah. So I mean everyone's going to be going to see this thing. They could flat out say it was in black and white and they would go see it. Um, oh, yeah. I am loving be there the, on opening the, night. I am loving this like cult of Superman army thing. They're like kneeling to him. The, the, the false God spray painted on the statue. I'm by the way, Jesse Eisenberg did exactly what I thought he was going to do. Um, with that Luther voice. Like he just sounds like Zuckerberg from social network with the hint, just, just a little bit more creepy. And that's gonna I'm be really fine. digging. I'm was, really digging the those, idea of his Lex Luthor. Yeah, he was one of those casting choices where I kind of, I, I, I wouldn't have seen it coming in any direction, but um, they go well, yes. Yeah, go, it's like yes. I heard it, I heard his, the casting choice, and I recoiled, jumped backwards, realized I was falling, and then what caught me? Jesse Eisenberg. 